Collingwood School Report News with Jack and Jess. Good morning and welcome to Collingwood School Report News with me, Jess. And me, Jack. The headlines, we see how things pan out for 3P. <laughs> International visit has come to Collingwood School. What do you think about our school? That Sunday is good. And an exclusive interview with our very own Lewis Hamilton. Collingwood students have been receiving steel pan lessons from an award winning player, Charlie and Daniel Report. This is Jenny, who is teaching us how to play the steel pans. Hello. Hello. <laughs> how did you get into playing the steel pans? Um, I was always in sort of orchestras, and when I was 12, I saw a steel band and had the opportunity to join. So I've been doing it quite a while now. Is it difficult to learn to play? Um, I think anyone can learn the pan. Um, if you've got musical background, you can you know, take it really far, but it's, the beauty is you can know musical background and anyone can get a good sound out of it. What is your favourite thing about this as instrument? Um, I find it very versatile and the opportunities to sort of perform all over and inspire people. Can you tell us a little bit about these trophies here? Um, yes, this one was the first one I won and that was um, the UK Championship and it was actually the first time anyone outside of London won the competition so that was kind of a proud moment for me in 2008 and this one here was another sort of solo competition and it was um, jazz based and I won that October 2013. How do they work? Um, they are pitch percussion, so they start life as full-size oil drums, and then they're all shaped by hand, and there's sort of all the different tones of metal. Um, shall I have a, would you like a demonstration of the different pitches? Could you demonstrate? Looks like they had a fantastic time. As part of the Comenius project, Collingwood played host to the teachers and students from across Europe. Alan and Sean report. We're starting the day today with a big breakfast to treat the get visitors. Let's take a look. school made a huge healthy breakfast for our visitors. This is a chance for people from all over Europe to meet and chat. I'm here with Albrecht 
I visited to the school from Germany. I am here with you. I visited to, from, to our school who is from Finland. I'm here with Patrick who's a visitor to the school and he's from Denmark. What did you enjoy about your stay in England so far? Yes, I enjoyed it very much. I think uh, we stay in a very, very nice hotel with a wonderful breakfast buffet. I like the Elric Garden. It's very beautiful and the hotel is nice. What do you think about our school? That's a nice school and I like people because they, there are different people. Could you tell us about, a bit about your school? Our school is located in Freiburg, that's in the south of Germany, near Switzerland. And in our school, at the moment, we have 60 students. And my school is different, and there is 600 students. Tell us about your job in your own country, your home country. I don't have a job in my country. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, Sean. He's not going to eat you. Other news now. A California couple found a stash of rare gold coins with more than $10 million, £6 million, as they walked their dog in their garden. The, the 1,427 gold pieces dating from 1847 to 1894 were discovered buried in eight different metal cans. Some of the rarest coins could sell for mu as much as $1 million, that's £600,000 each, a coin expert claimed. The world's longest aircraft has been unveiled in Bedfordshire. The hybrid air vehicle Airlander looks like a giant airship. The high-tech design means it also looks like one big aeroplane wing. It was originally sold to the US Army, but now it's been brought back to the original British developers who are planning their first flight this year. It can stay in the air for as long as 30 days. One Direction's Louis Tomlinson made his debut at Doncaster Rovers. More than 4,000 tickets sold for the charity game when they would usually sell around 100. Fans had to wait until the 65th minute to catch the pop star in action, but did not seem so upset, even when he fell on his backside attempting a pass in the 89th minute. Maybe he should stick to the day job. Proc and toast and make it snappy. In Queensland, Australia, passers-by were astonished to witness an epic battle between a giant snake and a crocodile, which the snake won. The snake dragged the croc out of the water, gradually wrapped itself around the croc and ate it whole. Gross. A Collingwood student has been making a name for himself as a national go-karting champion. John and Jake now with an exclusive interview. I'm here with Collingwood School very own Stuart Bannon who is the national go-karting champion. Alright. How did you get into go-karting? Um, well it was actually from a, like, a very early age when I was like about uh, five. Um, I had this like little electric car that I like, used to drive, and um, I used to be able to like do three point turns in it. And um, well, my my dad just seen something, and well, not everybody when they're, like five years old can do that, I guess. Uh, so um, my dad used to do go karting when he was like um, like about my age now. So like he had always had a love for motorsports. So. Um, I give go karting a try. How many races or championships have you won? Um, I think I've won about three championships so far. Um, no, sorry, actually four. <laughs> but like races, um, I, I can't remember. There's just too many. How did you feel when you won your first race? Um, like really happy, like like over the moon. I mean, it's like a great feeling when you just uh, like when you've like never done it before, and it's like a really good achievement. Overjoying? Yeah, I would say so. What 
is your favourite thing about go-kart racing? Um, everything. I just I love the mechanical side of it and uh, the driving part. I mean, I've just got like a love for motorsports. So yeah, I just love racing. <laughs> What was your best moment in go-karting? Um, got to say, winning my, like, the NKF championship, which I uh, won last year, and that's uh, so far the biggest, uh, like, trophy I've got from that, and it was, like, really fun racing the championship, and there was some really tough competitors. Can you tell us about any scary moments you have had? Um, well, crashes, <laughs> uh, and... When you're doing the starts, uh, well, when I first started in the British Championships, were like quite, uh, well, sort of scary and like you just got to kind of like stay in there and then just uh, deal with it. Yeah, just deal with it and like I had to keep my foot down and on the accelerator and just try my best. <laughs> Go karting idol and why? Um, I would say Lewis Hamilton, like, because I've met him and like he's he started off in go karting as well, and uh, well, it, that's how he got into Formula One. So I hope to get into cars in like maybe a couple year or so. So I mean, it would be great to get into cars and like getting a single seat. As I mean, that would just be great. Well, hopefully, hopefully we have the next Lewis Hamilton here. This information will be racing around in our heads for a few days. Thanks, Stuart. Back to the studio. Thank you. Thanks, John and Jake. He's almost as fast as Mr. Dunphy on his bike. Sport now with Sean. Thanks, Jack. Our main story today is that Newcastle United have signed the transfer deal of Sanctuary by swapping the entire team, plus a £50 Sports Direct voucher for Real Madrid's Cristiano Ronaldo. They had mentioned by anyone else, but it's a start. In other football news, Sunderland lost 17-0 to Bly Spartans again. Thanks, Sean. Over to the weather now with Cameron. Thanks, Jess. We had a weather warning for heavy snow in Northern England and Scotland. This will fall as heavy rain in the southeast with a few snow showers in the Midlands and Northern Ireland. The southwestern world looks set to the best of the weather with a clear, cold and sunny day. Looking at the temperatures now, it's going to be a bitterly cold day across the UK, getting no higher than freezing in a large part of the country. So better wrap up warm. Thanks. That's all from Collingwood School Report News Centre. Don't forget you can catch up with this bulletin on the BBC School Report website. Goodbye. Goodbye.